welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. In this episode, I just want to go over the test frames I did at uh, 1 minute, 2 minute, 5 minute, 10 minute, and 20 minute exposure lengths on NGC 1491, the Fossil Footprint Nebula, uh, the target I've been trying to capture off and on much as I can. However, now with the off-axis guider, I'm hoping, now that that's working, I'm hoping that the data I'm collecting, I won't have to throw out as many subs due to uh, trekking issues. So let's take a look at the one minute exposure. And you can see the nebula right here in the middle, uh, kind of faint. Stars are pretty pinpoint. Little vignetting up here in the upper left and the lower right. Uh, overall, not too bad for a one minute exposure, knowing that the uh, nebula is going to be pretty faint. Now, if we go to the two minute exposure, stars are still pretty pinpoint. They're looking pretty decent. Not really seeing any trailing at two minutes, which I don't think I should. And the heading's getting a little bit heavier. Again, I believe that was due to the dew shield not being put on there right. Let's look at the five minute, which is, this is the equivalent of what I've been capturing it at. Uh, five minute exposures, ISO 1600, and you know, that looks pretty darn good. Uh, nebulas start to come out pretty decent. And those stars are nice and yeah, they're, they're looking pretty good. I like that. Got a lot of hot pixels in here. Um, another reason why I want to get a new camera. I'm just getting way too many hot pixels now. I think this camera might be ready to die soon. But let's look at the 10 minute exposure. Yetting's more pronounced, but look at those stars. They're still looking pretty good. Maybe just a hint of a trail starting. Uh, you know, that could just be mounts not able to keep up. Uh, maybe there was a little bit of a little bit of a breeze that threw it off. But even out to the edges, they're looking pretty good. It would definitely be usable at 20 minutes. little oblong so maybe 10 minutes would be the longest I would venture to go with this mount but definitely improved my tracking capability so I am very 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 happy with uh, how that turned out uh, even at 20 minutes. That is better than I thought I would have gotten. So let me pull up Lightroom. Let's look at the actual image. These are raw files, so we can pull them in. No 
Okay, so we've brought these into Lightroom. Uh, this is our 60 minute e or 60 second exposure, one minute. You can see up here in our histogram, it's all the way to the left. Hardly any nebulosity showing up without stretching it. So if we pump that out there, it's there. But our stars look good. We go to two minutes. Nebula starts to show up. Stars still look pretty good. Noisy though. Again, if we bump up that exposure, we're getting the data. And if we go to the five minute exposure, this is my normal exposure link right here. More stars were being picked up, or at least visible. More signal. Starting to show up a lot more. Stars look really nice with this guiding now. If we bump that up. As you can see the histogram is starting to stretch out. We are getting more signal as we get longer exposures. That one's finally starting to pull off the left. Even without stretching it. At 10 minutes, we can start to see some of that nebulosity out here. And those stars will still look pretty good. Like that. And at 20 minutes, without stretching at all, we can definitely get some more of that nebulosity to show up, but we're getting a whitewash background. So what's our happy medium? That's a good question. With this DSLR, I am going to stick with five minute exposures. Uh, just because that thing is just generating too much noise. Man, that's starting to look really good. Little oblong on the stars, so 20 minutes. We can be corrected. We can mask those out correct the stars, but the nebulosity might lose a little bit. It's hard to tell. Um, yeah, I'm thinking for now, I'm just going to stick with what I know, stick with that five minute exposures and uh, see how it goes. But I am really happy with the, uh, with the OAG working. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we'll end it right there. Now this is our, my normal exposure right here. So let me, uh, let me end this one right here. Uh, as you can see, tracking definitely improved. Uh, you know, it's it, hard to judge. We'll, you know, if, if I had a bad sub, I'd show it to you and might actually have one in the next video um, where the tracking is definitely getting better and it just, or it, it has gotten better uh, using the OAG, uh, which means I'm going to be able to not have to throw away as much data as I approach the meridian or cross the meridian, 
I'm having to throw out about 20 to 40 minutes worth of data on some targets. I believe this one I was actually throwing out almost a full hour's worth of data uh, because the tracking was just horrible crossing the meridian. Um, so hopefully this will help me keep better or more of my subs. And also mean better data as far as stars won't be as bloated. I won't have as much variance in the tracking. So crossing my fingers here, this will work and uh, we'll be able to start getting some better images put out there. Uh, so with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I uh, know I really didn't get into too much other than just the show and tell of what the tracking now looks like and how long of the how long of an exposure I can actually do now, uh, given the DSLR and everything. Um, so hopefully you found it somewhat informative. Uh, please stick around for the outro. As always, clear skies. Have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you, clear skies. Remember to.